In any course that's taught on an online environment, one of the things we have to be concerned about and we have to be able to show our creditors is the ability to have substantial interaction between the student and the instructor and the students and other students. The one way we can do this in all of our courses is to have a discussion board. Now, the courses that are not set up for blended learning currently don't have discussion boards included in them. This video is going to show you how to set up a discussion board in your course. So the first thing you need to do is come to the day where you want to have the discussion board. I'm just using one of my HVAC courses to start with, and we'll go down to the second day of instruction or the first day of instruction. Okay. In this, I have two presentations, um, which is lecture material, and we want to base our we want to base our discussion boards on something that was covered in the lecture. So you want the first thing you need to do is come down and add a add a label basically for discussions okay we want to make it easy so we're going to come in click the plus sign and add a text header and i'm just going to say discussion boards because you want to have something um that the students can see where everything is so we're just going to click discussion boards as a text header okay it's going to put it at the bottom okay so if i scroll down here okay come down to the bottom there's my discussion boards I'm going to make it visible, okay? And now I'm going to come back up to the top, and this is where we actually add the discussion board. So you come in here, you add a discussion, okay? We're going to add a new topic, and we're going to just pick a topic. We always start off discussions with the word discussion. And I'm going to, in this case, just say, because I'm putting it in a section on defrost timers, I'm going to say defrost timers, and I always want to indent one level under what the heading is. I don't indent the heading, but I indent the discussion board itself. So I'm adding a new topic. I'm coming in down here, okay, and you'll see now you have a discussion on defrost timers. There's no question in here yet, okay, so we need to add, add a question to this. So I'm going to come into it. Okay, and I'm going to basically say edit. Okay, now this first part here, okay, is where we're going to add the question. So what we want to do is we want to come up with a question or something for a discussion between students and the instructor that has to do with the day's lecture. So in this case, I'm going to say, what are the differences? between the commercial defrost, and for some people who don't teach HVAC, this is probably Greek, but for HVAC, this is a good example. Frost, and the domestic defrost cycle or timer. And then we always want to put the reminder in here. Please answer the question. And then add to posts of two of your classmates. Simple, yes, I agree. Answers are not satisfactory. We'll just say not enough. Okay, so. Our question we're putting out there is what are the differences between the commercial defrost and domestic defrost cycle or timer? This could be anything having to do with what you're teaching, what your subject is. Please answer the question, then add to the post of two of your classmates. Simple yes, I agree answers are not enough. And then we also want to put in here, please remember to check back, check back, and answer any additional question any additional questions posted by your instructor and we'll fix the spelling error okay once you have your question set up and directions set up you want to come down here and you want to click allow threaded replies 
Okay, and we also want to say users must post before seeing replies. What that does, it actually allows us to make sure that a student is just not copying other people's stuff. We are also going to place the graded on there. Okay, we want to have graded, and it's out of 100. And we are going to put this into the quiz grade category because this is actually when you're teaching online, discussions are basically a quiz on what we have just um, what we have just covered. Okay, when it's in your course, please make sure you fill out your due dates and stuff like that. We always suggest give a couple days for discussion boards. Come down here and click Save and Publish. Okay. And then when you shows up on your main course screen, okay, this is how it shows up. It's all here. And when it comes back in, let's just pull up the main course screen again. Okay, it's down here at the bottom of your discussion. You can drag these around wherever you want if necessary. Okay. And that's discussion boards.